Well, in an afternoon daily briefing, Erie County Executive Mark Polenkar said those who qualify for COVID-19 testing include people in nursing homes and group homes, law enforcement, symptomatic pregnant women, and healthcare workers. But 7 Eyewitness News reporter Madison Carter spoke with a nurse who says she has all the symptoms but has been shut out of the testing process. We had a cold at the beginning of the year when all that other stuff was going around. This is like 10 times worse. Stephanie Sermon is a home care nurse who works directly with children. She's had COVID-19 symptoms for more than a week, but hasn't been able to get tested. It's being focused more at the hospital and Department of Health level. But then you've got providers out in the field, and we have more range in terms of the people we touch. Dr. Raul Vasquez moved his family practice entirely to a telehealth model. The hospitals and the ERs, all those places are infected. So if you didn't have an infection, you're going to the right place to pick it up. He says there's a disconnect between what the public is being told and what doctors can actually do. The Department of Health and everyone is call your primary care. So yeah, they call and we refer, but then once if testing gets done, they're, we're out of the loop as a primary care physician. Sermon has similar concerns. We thought that we could just maybe go into the emergency room, tell them our symptoms, and they could test us, and we could go home, and then, you know, wait a time and be told if we have it or not. Right. Well, that's not what happened. When the health department says to care for everyone with symptoms like they have the virus, but many are still looking for confirmation. If we know that people have it and they need to be treated, what is the benefit of having that yes or well, no? Well, the, te the, the testing is important. It's important to see because if you have a rise in that number, you can begin to monitor those individuals. For Sermon, it's about being able to answer the governor's call for help from health care workers statewide. It's kind of good that I'm getting it early and if we do find that you do have an immunity after all of this i can go out and help and not have to worry about getting sick again but i want to know that i actually have it and something making it even more difficult is that the information is constantly changing just wednesday afternoon the county executive came out with even newer guidelines for who will receive priority testing we have that for you right now on our website madison carter seven eyewitness news